Hi, welcome to Professional Certifications Channel. Let's break down CISSP exam preparation, one topic a day for focused and effective learning. Today's topic is access control. Definition Access control is a fundamental security mechanism that regulates who or what can view or use resources in a computing environment. It ensures that only authorized users have the necessary permissions to access specific systems, networks, or data while preventing unauthorized access. Key Concepts 1. Access Control Models Discretionary Access Control, DAC, the owner of the resource determines who has access to it. This is flexible, but can be risky if owners don't manage permissions well. Mandatory Access Control, MAC access is determined by a central authority based on multiple levels of security. It's strict and often used in high-security environments like the military. Role-based access control, RBAC access is granted based on a user's role within an organization. This simplifies management by assigning permissions based on roles rather than individuals. Rule-based access control, permissions are granted based on a set of rules, such as time-based access or location-based access. 2. Types of access control Physical access control limits access to physical areas, like server rooms or buildings, using measures such as key cards or biometric scanners. Logical access control regulates access to digital resources like systems, networks, and files through methods such as usernames, passwords, and multi-factor authentication, MFA. 3. Key Principles Least privilege, users should be granted the minimum level of access necessary to perform their tasks. This minimizes the risk of accidental or malicious misuse of systems. Need to know, access is given only to those who need the information to perform their job functions. Separation of duties, ensures that critical tasks are divided among multiple individuals to prevent fraud or error, e.g., one person shouldn't be able to both authorize and execute a financial transaction. 4. Access Control Technologies Access Control Lists ACLs a list of permissions attached to an object specifying which users or system processes can access the object and what operations they can perform. Biometrics Using physical characteristics like fingerprints, retina scans, or facial recognition to verify identities. Tokens slash smart cards, hardware devices or software applications that generate unique codes for authentication. Multi-factor authentication, MFA a security process that requires users to provide two or more verification factors to gain access, e.g., something you know, a password, and something you have, a token. Importance in the CISSP exam, understanding access control is critical for CISSP aspirants because it's a core topic that underpins many of the domains in the exam, including security architecture, risk management, and identity and access management, I am. Mastering the different access control models and principles will help you effectively manage security policies and address exam questions related to both digital and physical security. Real-world example Imagine a hospital using RBAC to ensure that only doctors have access to patient medical records, while administrative staff can only view general scheduling information. This prevents unauthorized personnel from accessing sensitive patient data, ensuring both compliance with regulations like HIPAA and protection of privacy.